morning, Kingdom Saints. Let's talk about Ephesians 2 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. That means exactly what it says. We are saved by the grace of God because we are believers. In Christ, we have faith. We believe in Him, and we not only act, not we not only believe in Him, we acted on our belief, and we decided to have Jesus as our own personal Savior. We confessed our sins to God the Father, and we believe that Jesus rose from the dead, was resurrected. I was resurrected and went to heaven. Amen. Because there's nothing you can do. Hold on, let me get me on my coffee. Yes, I drink coffee at night. I drink coffee in the morning. And I drink coffee in the daytime. I'm a 24-hour coffee dude. Let me bring my mic up a little bit here, that that boy. There is nothing, absolutely nothing that we can do to earn grace. You can't earn it. You can earn your paycheck, but that's about it. You can't earn grace. It is a gift of God. You can't make yourself righteous. You can't make yourself justified. You can't make yourself clean. Only Jesus can do these things when you choose him. But we are saved by grace through faith. Amen. For he is our peace, who had made both one, and had broken down the middle wall of partition between us. When Jesus, Jesus died on that night at Calvary, the veil between God and man was torn. The veil that the Pharisees had in the temple. Big, 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 big veil. Even the Pharisees said, even the Pharisees said, Oh my goodness. This veil could not have been torn down by man's hands. Because it was it was huge and it was it was you know what? You you would need like a ladder a mile a mile high to tear down that veil. And that's the veil that separated the Pharisees from God. That's where they would go to um, talk to God. Say to God, that's the veil. And it was torn down. When that veil was torn down on the night that Jesus gave up the spirit. That's that we are no longer separated by the veil. We all have access to God. We have the right to be called sons of God. Only if you choose Jesus. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of the commandments, contained in ordinances for to make himself a twain one new man so making peace Jesus said I have not come to abolish the law but to fulfill the law so by him fulfilling the law 
He abolished in the flesh the enmity, which is the enemy, the wickedness. Anything that separates us from God is enmity. And the law of con commandments contained in the ordinances back in the Mosaic law when the Israelites couldn't keep the law. No matter what they did, they just couldn't keep the law. They might follow one law and say, Yay, I did it, I did it. But they sinned against another law. I never, they, they, you know, God said, commit one sin, you've committed them all. They couldn't keep the law. That's why Jesus was sent to us. It is the new covenant. Amen. And that he might reconcile both unto God and one body by the cross, having slain the enemy thereby. Jesus is the Jesus is the appropriation of all our sins. He's our mediator, and He reconciles us to God. He reconciles us to God by the cross, by His death and His resurrection, by His death and resurrection. He has reconciled us back to the Lord because he died for all the sins of mankind. He is the new covenant and he has a defeated Satan. He has defeated death. Jesus said, I rose from the dead and so shall you. Jesus said, I have overcome the world and so and so shall you. And are built upon the foundation of the, the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Yeah. That's part of the new covenant. Because the apostles laid down their foundation when they went out and preached and evangelized. They was laying down the foundation for salvation, for, for the pathway to eternal life with Christ Jesus. And that foundation has Jesus as a chief cornerstone. That means he's the head honcho. The big cheese, as we say, el melo melo. Eh? Anyway, that's our little short Bible study for today. So if you like this video, subscribe and Hit that little subscribe button right there. Thanks for watching. Open your Bible today. Open your Bible to pray. Open your Bible today. Open your Bible to pray. Open it.